Hi all, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my merch by Amazon account. I want to start talking a little bit more about other passive income opportunities and merch by Amazon is definitely a massive one. So check out this video about my journey so far. So for those who might not know what Merch by Amazon is, it is a print on demand service by Amazon that allows you to sell branded merchandise uh, so you can create and upload custom designs to Amazon that might include t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases uh, and much more. You can choose the product to sell and then fix a price. So when the customer buys the item with your design, then you can earn royalties from Amazon. So unlike KDP, there is an application process and you do have to be accepted to sell on their platform. But I've got a video that you can check out on how I use my KDP account to be accepted by Merch by Amazon. So I'll link that in the description. So getting straight into it, I've been on Merch by Amazon for around four to five months now, and you can see my all-time um, sales of 12 so far, and my income of £13.62, which would roughly be maybe $18, $19. And you're probably thinking, what have you been doing all this time? But being honest, this has not been my main focus. It's more being KDP. But the good things are I have achieved 10 plus sales and I've also done what I can to maximize all my slots as well. So I have 10 out of 10 designs. But the frustrating thing is I have been waiting to tear up. When you do get accepted to Merch by Amazon, you start on tier 10. So you're only allowed to make 10 designs. And once you've made 10 sales and you filled up your shirt allocations to at least 80%, so that's at least you have eight shirts up, then you should ideally be tiered up to tier 25. Um, and then tier 25, you need 25 sales at least. Uh, roughly filling up the shirt allocation up to 80% again, so 20 shirts and so on to tier 100. However, even though you may get the amount of sales needed to tier up, there is no guarantee. So all you can do is really wait and be patient and hope that they tier you up whenever they decide. But in the meantime, I wasn't really too focused on Merch by Amazon, I have just been waiting to be tiered up. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is just replace shirts that aren't selling and keep on creating designs and hopefully get tiered up soon. So regarding my first sale, I actually bought my own t-shirt. I wanted to test and see what the quality was like and what the customer would be getting. It's something I do with whatever print on demand service that I do try. So I bought my first shirt within uh, a week and roughly three to four days later, somebody actually bought that same t-shirt. A lot of my shirt sales actually came from trending niches. So off the top of my head, I had a few from Euro 2022 which was a while back, and then a few political t-shirts also. I have followed the strategy of pricing your shirts quite low. However, I didn't go with the lowest price that you can. I did want to, I do want to gain some royalties from the work that I have done. So all my sales have been in the UK. However, I am looking to target more niches now in the US and definitely create more designs as we head into December. So finally, a few goals. These are just targets that I would like to hit to keep myself consistent. So the first is to be in tier 100 by January 2023. I think this is an achievable target. I should ideally already be in tier 25 
But all I can do is focus on what I can control. And I can do this by creating designs consistently. One, two, five a week, I think is manageable. And what I'm gonna do is swap any designs that are not selling well. And then also by investing in tools such as maybe Merch, Informer, or any other tools that might help me with niche research and keywords. So I might not be earning hundreds or thousands yet with Merch by Amazon, but we all got to start from somewhere. And it definitely has massive potential. And it is tough starting right at the bottom, but I'm going to be showing you right through the process and documenting my journey. So once again, thanks for watching another video. If you currently doing much by Amazon and got any tips or comments, then put them down below. And if this video was helpful, then give it a like and enjoy the rest of your day.